Okay, so welcome back. Uh, my job today is pretty much straightforward. I want to show you uh, the string formatting operator, the percent operator, right? So one of Python's coolest features is the string format operator, the percent uh, sign, right? So this operator is unique to strings and makes up uh, for the pack of having functions from the C print family. All right, so let me explain a bit further so that you guys can understand what I'm talking about. So we saw in our previous video, the dot format method, which is used to embed some information inside a string. But prior to the dot format method was the percent operator method, which is a C type of uh, string formatting. So the dot format method was introduced in version three in Python. And so, uh, but then it was backported to version 2.6, which means uh, you can only use the f dot format function in Python version 2.6 and onwards. But prior to that, you uh, have to use this percent uh, operator for string formatting. So let's see how you can then go about it. All right, so for you to represent a string, to embed a string inside a string, you have to use percent %s. For you to embed an integer, you can either use percent %i or percent %d. And then last but not least, for you to embed a floating point number, you have to use percent %f. Right, so, you know, and, and there are, you know, all other symbols that you can use as, as placeholders. Um, our focus is mainly on strings and then integers and then floating point numbers. All right, so let me jump into my sublime text. You know, I have two variables here the item and then the price so the item is bread and the price is you know uh, is 100 so if i want to embed these into my string i want them to be part of my string that i'm going to print eventually i can say the item is so this is my string right so i want to take the item and and place it inside my string right embed it in in my string so what i have to do is i have to use uh, the percent s because item is a string and 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 then and then I can go on to say and the price is uh, and then I have to put in the price so the price right now is an integer so I can use percent %d uh, for that and so you then have to go outside the quotation marks and 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 then uh, tell python that you know these placeholders uh, their values are these ones. So we can come out here and put their values here by placing a percent and then parentheses, you know, and then specifying the item comma price here. Okay, so this is how you do it. So if I'm to run this code, you see down here, the item is bread, which is this value, and the price is 100, which is this value. So how did Python know? Right, so it, it you know checked the placeholders and then eventually went out here and checked you know the item and the price and then it then took this item and placed it here and then the price and placed it here. So this is what we call formatting. Okay, so this was an earlier way uh, of formatting in Python before you know the F method, the F string was introduced and the format method was introduced. All right, so. Um, you know, you, you might be saying to yourself, you know, so what's the use? You know, what's the benefit? Of course, uh, benefit number one is we are making our strings dynamic, right? We are not hard coding values here. So if at some point I, I want to make these breadcrumbs, um, I don't have to come down here and write it. You know, I can just change it up here and then I can save and run. And as you can see now, the, there's breadcrumbs here. Right, so this makes you know our our code uh, clean, and then obviously this one. Let's say I want this to have a dollar sign symbol, and I also want it to be uh, to two decimal places. Now, uh, what I can do is I can you know come up here, uh, put a dollar sign here. If I'm to run this, you see I have it. You know the price is hundred dollars. It's as simple as that, and and so this helps me right, and I can also if I want to this to you know a floating point number I can then put an F here and then save and run this you see now it it becomes hundred point zero 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 let's say I want to remain with only two decimal places now I can come inside here and say point two and then I can save and run as you guys can see I'm formatting all right so I'm, I'm playing around with the format of this value so this is where string formatting 
comes into effect. Okay, you can have, you know, different kinds of formatting, but for simplicity's sake, we're just playing with these uh, simple values. All right, so I really want to thank you for your time. I hope you understood what is this uh, percent operator formatting in Python. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, remember to subscribe. I hope to see you in our next video. For now, I'm out. See you next time. Bye-bye.